hello guys and welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a nice time today i'll be showing you guys how to sew this particular dashiki that you're seeing on the screen right now it's going to be a step-by-step -step video as always and i'm going to take you guys through the whole process of sewing it if you haven't seen the video of how i cut this i'll put it in the description below or you can just search the video gallery on my channel you're going to see the video of the cutting while this is the sewing so without further ado let's get straight into the video and if you like the video give it a thumb up and if you're yet to subscribe to the channel just hit on the red subscribe button and be part of the family so let's get straight into the video Bam. first thing we're going to do is to weave the facing we're going to weave the facing and we are going to do a turnover okay here is the neck that we slit before as you can see so i'm going to do a turn up i'm going to turn the neck if you're making a senator that you're not piping this is exactly how to turn your neck also so i'm going to turn the neck Let me zoom in closer so that you guys can see. Okay. Okay, this is better. This is a good view. Okay. So I'll make sure the front, the right side of the facing is facing the right side of the fabric before sewing it. So I'm going to sew it. Just make sure that your hand is straight when you're doing this. Just make sure your hand is straight and in case you want to join our intensive class all we do in our intensive class is very simple we decide on a particular design that we'll be making in a week and i make the video for you maybe a senator design we vote on maybe like uh, uh, five pictures every week then we all vote about a video in which we want to learn about on our whatsapp group so if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can join. You can also come up with a design that you want me to show you guys. So all you just have to do is just to post the picture on the group and we all deliberate on what I should do. And we and I make a video about it. So that is it on the intensive. It's not really an intensive class, but it's just 1,000 Naira each every week for every design that I'll be making. So that is it on this. So here, I'm going to make a notch at that edge so that I can turn the neck over, as you can see. So I'm just going to make a notch, make it closer. And on that curve side, all of the curve side, you have to make a notch so you can have a good turn. You can see that. Just make a notch right there make a notch you can see so the next thing i'll be doing i will turn it and i will have to use an iron to make it very straight and balanced you can see so i'll need to use the ironing now to balance it up so this is what we have you see how smooth that is so i had some gum inside of that edges so that it's going to balance very well you can see so the back also i'm going to like have to turn that back also so just the same way so as you can see i did not add anything to my face and i did not add any stiff i only use i only fold the edge with an emmy gum it's as simple as that so as you can see the next thing i'll be doing now is just to turn the neck just like that So if you're making a senator, a normal senator that you don't want to pipe the neck, this is exactly the same process you're going to follow to pipe the neck, to turn the neck.
Okay. So we just just make a stitch just like that around. Very simple. Just make sure that you're on the street and you're not sewing some parts big and some other parts small. Make sure you're stitching exactly the same size, which is a foot of your machine. Okay, so the next thing I'll be doing now is ironing this part also. Okay, first you're going to make a notch. Anything that you sew that has a curve edge, you're going to make a notch there before turning it over. So after making the notch, I will take my time to give it a good ironing. So I already give it an ironing right there. So I already give it an ironing. So the next thing we're going to do now is we I want you guys to pay attention to. I will have to turn my my front shoulder line and my back shoulder line. I will have to put the two together. So here I just want you to take a closer look at this. Okay. So here I'll make sure my you can see what I did. You can see that the back. The front of my fabric is facing the machine, which is the front of the fabric, and my back is facing it. So I'm going to put the shoulder inside, the shoulder of the front, I'm going to put it inside of the back. You can see what I did. So you're going to put it at that edge. You can see that. Okay, so I'm going to stitch that part now i'll be stitching the half of an inch at the edge make sure that place is straight and balanced including your facing you can see see that so what I'll be doing at this corner right here I'll be cutting out that edge I'll have to trim out that edge but first let me turn it so that let me do the second one you're going to do exactly the same thing on the second line also put it right here inside make sure they are very close so that you're going to you're not going to have any lapses in between those inside. Make sure they're very close. So it's very straight stitch. I'm sewing half of an inch right here. As always, I told you guys when during the cutting that we're going to add an extra half of an inch there. So here I'm going to cut sew out half of an inch. You see that? So when I turn this over to the front. Just jack that place out, jack it very out so that it's going to be very firm. And you're going to do the same thing to the second side. See what we have.
So this is what the neck is going to look like. As simple as that. See? But that edges, as you can see, it has a little bit of thickness. So that's why you need to trim that part. You see that edge? Just trim it close. Trim it. Trim it off. You can see? So you're going to jack it out so that it's going to key in and it's going to be straight. Also add this one. You have to trim it. See that so this is what the front is going to look like you see so the next thing we're going to do is to iron your shoulder first make sure it is very very straight that is very important then after you iron it, as you can see, make sure the two boots, the inside and the front, are very balanced. Then you can stitch your back to your, you can stitch your yoke to your back. <laughs> oh God, English is crazy. <laughs> You're going to stitch your yoke to your back. Make sure your hand is very straight because you have to stitch the edge, the very edge of the fabric. Just like that you can see just like that just like that you can see what we have So after stitching the yoke, all you have to do is just to give it a good ironing. So this is what the front look like. It's very, very simple. This is what the dashiki look like. As you can see, it's very simple. <laughs> you can see that. So we're going to make our punch in the front. But before we do that, that will be that will still be in the front before we do that i'm going to fold this together so i'm going to cut cut out my sleeve pipe that's why i call it the sleeve pipe all these edges you're going to give it a good ironing you can see you're going to make sure you iron it and it's balanced so here for the sleeve pipe i'll be measuring nine inches nine inches So I'm going to make a notch at that 9 inches length. <laughs> you see? So I'm going to cut out a pipe for that. And that's what we're going to use to, to turn it. So after, after stitching the pipe, then we can stitch the borders and we can run our pipe. So here is the pipe that I cut. I already cut out 4 inches. You can see that. The width is 4 inches. After folding, I'm going to have a total of 1.5 at the edge. You can see. And the length is 20 because I want to have an extra 2 inches for the... After the stitching. So here, I already folded. This is what it's going to look like. You guys see that? This is what it's going to look like. So 1.5 the total, you can see. So I'm going to like have to attach it to the borders. As you can see, this is what that side is going to look like. Just like this, you're going to attach it to the borders. You can see. Just, you're going to like you're piping your neck something like that and you're going to do it on the both side 
so after that we're going to stitch the bodice itself so here I'm, i just opened the shoulder into two places you can see so i can start the pipe so from that edges i'm going to go a little bit from into the front because i have an extra allowance as i've told you guys before you can see so i'm going to make a straight stitch just like that <laughs> Just like that. I'm going to make sure it go out a little bit, so it's not covering the entire entire sleeve. So all you have to, all you have to do is just to draw it closer and make your stitch. Just like that. You can see what I'm doing. Very simple. You can see. Can you see? So this is the sleeve. This is what it's gonna look like. All the folding, don't worry. You're going to use a steam iron to give it a thorough ironing, and it's going to be smooth. So that is it. So on the other side, also you're going to do exactly the same thing. So here, this is what we have on the sleeve. So I make a double stitch on each of the side. You can see that. I make a double stitch. So now I'm going to be, okay, here is my nine inches for the sleeve arm O, for the sleeve O, not arm O. So I'm going to just stitch it, I'm going to make a curve stitch at that edge. So from the inside, you can see, I'm going to measure my your nine inches. We're going to make a curve from that side down to your to your length. So you can see this what that side is going to look like. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to weave that edges. You can see from the sleeve I make a curve stitch down. That's from my 9 inches down to my bodice. And I did it on both sides. So if I turn it to the front now, this is what the dashiki is going to look like. I've, I'm here to give this an ironing. So I'm going to give it an ironing. And you're going to see. So here, as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. This is what the front is going to look like. It's still going to take your time to give this a good ironing. All these edges then we're going to after that's when we're going to do our punch in the front okay so here what i'll be showing you guys to be at this end part uh this down part this way we're going to take our measurements we're going to take it long that will be 24 i'm going to assume that will be 24 that's 24 times 2 a total of 48 so i'll be cutting a straight long line of 48 that i'll be using for the piping which will be a total of two inches extra to this part so here i already cut a 4.5 inches length you can see so after i fold each of the edges 
I'm going to have the pipe just like this. You guys can see so I can stitch it straight to the fabric. So I'm going to add a light fusing to this. I'm going to add some fusing to it so that it's going to make it a little bit strong. So right now I already had some fusing to this. You can see that. So I cut 4.5 so that I'm going to be sewing half of an inch at that edge. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this into two. And I'm going to iron it to make sure it's straight before we stitch it to our border. So you can see I already pulled the edges. You can see this is in double. So now when I turn this into two like this, this is what I'm going to do. At this edge right here, I'm going to make sure this side is straight. You can see. Make sure you're actually picking this out enough. See what we have. Make sure the side is straight. Make sure the side also is straight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop this place. So that's what. Okay, you cannot see that. Sorry. Okay, so at this side I just chop this place. So that's what I will be stitching inside together. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now. I'm going to turn this facing each other like this. You can see that, and I'm going to stitch. Let me calculate what, how many inches that is. I'm going to stitch one uh, three quarter of an inch in that place. So right here, as you can see, I already joined it together. Use your iron to open this place up. Open this place up with ironing and fold it together like this. So the next thing we're going to do now is just to apply it to our bow eyes. That's the end part. So here, the next thing we're going to do is from this side, we start a stitch just like this. You can see, from this very first angle, we're going to start a stitch. See that I'll be sewing half of an inch from that edge in that corner. So here this is what it's going to look like, the down part you can see, this is what the down part is going to look like to this side. So I'm going to need to like weave these edges. So the next thing we are going to do is our pocket on the side. So after the weave, these are the places you're going to take your time to give it good ironing. You can see all these edges, you're going to iron it very well. So after the weave from inside, this is what we're going to have. So the next thing we are going to do now is going to be the side pocket. We are going to need to like put a side pocket here, a welt pocket at this edge and also at the second side before we do the last finishing which will be on the, the neck lacing. So here is the pocket, the welt pocket I will be using. So I already cut this out at the welt itself, the amount of the pocket is going to be a total of 6 inches. So I cut 8 inches for an extra allowance. So here. The length is going to be a total of 10 and the length is going to end up at a total of 9 inches after the folding of the pocket side. So here is the fusing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add fusing to both sides and I'm going to add fusing to the back of the um, bodice itself. So right here, there is one of the pockets. I'll fold it into two and I'm going to mark the center point. Okay, so here is the center point for the world's pocket. So here, the pocket is going to be a total of 6 inches, right? Don't forget. So here I'm marking 6 here. And I'm marking the beginning here. 
right here. I'm going to fold out the center points on this one also. You can see that. It's in my head. It's in my head. You see? So I'm going to do the same thing on this one for the center points. I'm going to mark the side. See that? See that? So I'm going to do the same thing here. So that will be the two top parts. So the next thing I'm going to do is for make a mistake. So let me just do it this way. So from the inside, right? I want you guys to pay attention. From the inside, I'm going to measure my 17 inches. So from the shoulder here, I'm going to measure my length, which is 17, right? I'm going to mark my 17 right here. Also at this place, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to mark your 17 inches from this place. Let's mark your 17 right here. Make sure it is accurate. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to add facing to this place, to this particular 17 inches. So here, I'm just going to place my facing. I'll be cutting the facing at a total of 9 inches. Uh, a total of 8 inches as well, sorry. 8 inches. So I'll be cutting two facing. I'm still going to like have to like trim it, but either way, let's just cut this one. So I'll be placing my face in here, right at this edge, put it together, get the center point, place it. Make sure that place is smooth, then so you're going to iron it down. So as you can see, after you glue your um, your so add uh, your stay to this side so when you come to the front so here is where our pocket is going to be you're still going to tear out the facing but that will be after we're done with the fixing of the pocket so let's do that right now so let's go back to the sewing machine so we can fix our pocket right here make sure it's very straight and fix two of that so the pocket is going to be uh like at uh half of an inch the entire pocket square is going to be like at half of an inch you can measure that by making just like uh, half of an inch that will be each of it is going to be a quarter of an inch on each side so let's do that first a quarter of an inch to give us half of an inch total quarter and here also we have a quarter of an inch So we are going to roll it together. So you see what we have? So when we are stitching this now, we are going to stitch a total of half of an inch for the pocket opening. So we are going to do the same thing here and all of it. So right now I am going to fix my belt pocket at this side. You guys can see. So I am just going to make sure the inside is opened. So don't stitch on your the borders. If your hand is straight and you understand what you're doing, you might just do it like this. But if you feel like your hand is not straight, you can make a straight line at this place before stitching. That's what I would advise. So make sure your center point is actually at the center point of your stitch right here. You can see that. So I'm going to I'm going to start my stitch from this very first edge right here. Okay. So this is what we have, our stitch has ended here, you see that, and this one also ended right there, you see that. So I'm going to um, attach the second one under it, just exactly at this place, you see that, 
see that I'm going to do the same exact same thing. Make sure that your hand is straight. This also, this one we have here, this one we have here. So as you can see, this one we have so far. So I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to easily, you can see, I'm going to make my cut here. See that? Let me make this a little bit okay. So you see that? I'm going to make my cut here. So at this point, I have to make a notch at this part on this edge right here. You see that? Just one slide open in another space also. See that? We are going to do the same thing also at this place. See that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See here? See? Also here? So the next thing we are going to do now is to put it inside so we'll have to like still go back to the ironing table so you're just going to iron these edges you can see that so the next thing you're going to do now is to push all this inside push it inside I'm going to push this one also inside inside of your borders so we do so far so when you come to the inside right here you can see what we have you can see what we have so I'm going to like iron it so see that just make sure you iron it and you make sure it is balanced then we can overlay our pocket we can overlay what we want to use for the facing so if you look at it like this it's going to look something like this as you can see the edges are still not very smooth but that's not that's not a worry what you just have to do is just to push this inside push this inside you can see that so during the stitching aspect you're going to stitch from inside right here so all these edges are going to be firm and we're going to do an embroidery at these edges all of these edges so that it's going to be firm so let's go back to the sewing machine again try <laughs> and fix all of that up so push this downward just a little bit you see that make sure this side overlap you see so let's go to the sewing machine and fix that up. So as you can see right here, the next thing we're going to do is very simple. Make sure you use your hand to balance up this place very well. You see that? So when you lift this part up, make sure this fabric is out. This particular small one. We are going to stitch it to the borders. So at that tip, let me zoom in closer so that you guys can see. Okay, at that tip, 
need to make a straight stitch. You can see after you stitch that part, you see that we're going to also do this other side. We're going to also do this other side. We're going to do the same thing, but in your front, make sure this side is set. We're going to make sure this side is very, very set. This one has to overlap, and this one overlap. This one has to overlap here. You see that? Have to really make sure it's overlap. Just like that. Maybe down tightly. Just like that. So you can see after you stitch that part also, here is what we're going to have in the front. So all we have to do is just to make a stitch right here from this part to this part. Then I'm going to close the pocket from inside. So I'm just going to close the pocket. Depending on how you want it to be, I'm just going to make a pop edge at this place. You can see that. So I'm going to just weave it round. Just weave it round. So that is it on the what pocket side. Don't worry. We have to like tear out all this paper, this ones. Let's tear out this like here. So here, this is what the pocket is going to look like. It's very simple. It's very simple. You can see that. Just give it a good ironing. And I'm going to stitch this part with a, an embroidery here straight down to this place. So as you can see, here is what the pocket is going to look like. We are going to, still going to do an embroidery on each of these edges. So it's going to cover those lapses. That's what they usually use. If you check on your trouser now, you're going to see an embroidery at each of the edges. Or if you have a zigzag machine, you can just use to stitch that part. So here is what we're going to use on the side of this. It's going to come from the inside. I'm just going to give it a total ironing. So it's going to come from the inside like this. We're going to stitch it to the bodice right there. It's going to come to the front and hold your button. Oh, sorry, you cannot see that clearly. It's going to come from inside here to this place and hold your button. It's very simple. So right here is what the pocket looks like now. You can see that. It's very, very simple. So the next thing we are going to do is the punch. Is the punch on the neckline. So let's do that. So the next thing we are going to do now is now the punch on the neckline. So let's do that. <laughs> 